Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins of the Closing Market Minute. Agricultural commodity markets, for the most part, saw another round of pressure from the broader market on the continued concerns about the spread of coronavirus and its impact on global economic growth. Beans picked up additional pressure from a new marketing year low in export sales after China made a significant cancellation last week. Still, sales in the next week's report might improve a little bit, with the shipping issues out of Brazil, a four-day strike by farm workers in Argentina, and the recent sales of U.S. soybeans to unknown destinations. Corn was lower, also following the lead of the broader market. While export sales were good, the overall pace remained slow about halfway through this marketing year. And wheat closed lower. Weekly export sales, they were bearish. And heading into the session, milling wheat futures and pears were down, and Russian wheat prices were lower as well. Live and feeder cattle both closed down their respective daily trading limits, so they will have expanded trading limits this upcoming Friday. That was on the broader market losses and this week's direct cash cattle business, down $3 from last week on the live basis and $6 lower for dressed. That's the third week in a row with significantly lower prices for the major direct markets. And hogs will also have expanded trading limits on Friday on pressure from the broader market and a marketing year low for export sales. China canceled on a lot of U.S. pork last week. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.